Hey guys, John from eSilencers.com here today just to do a quick uh, video on one of the uh, nice pieces we have here in the shop. Uh, this is actually an investment piece. Um, this is the HK SP89 um, and it's also got a uh, HK sear in it. It's got the Fleming sear. So if anybody's aware of what that is, it's basically a transferable uh, machine gun. Uh, the sear is um, the machine gun part. It's actually got a serial number on it. And uh, what's good about the serial numbers on the sear is that you can move them across host guns. And this is the host gun that we have for this sear. Uh, this is a transferable, so it can be owned by, by civilians, uh, individuals, anybody that has a clean record that can buy a gun can own one of these. Now, the, one of the issues with these guns are they're very, very expensive. Uh, current market rate on a sear with a host gun is running especially this setup is running about 50 to fifty five thousand dollars which is a lot of money for your uh, common person to buy uh, we got lucky and got this gun at a pretty good price so uh anyway just to go over a little bit about it the sba9 it did the host gun actually came out in the 90s uh, late 80s early 90s uh it was before the pre-ban so these are set up where they can uh, they don't have the block where you can actually uh, it can set the full auto boat carrier um, these guns were banned because of that back in the 90s during the Clinton administration. Uh, but the new SP89, or excuse me, the new um, SP5Ks, uh, they're set up a little bit differently. Um, and that was the only way the HK could produce those in the United States. So, anyway, just to go over a few features, I don't know if anybody's aware, of course, this is a um, roller locker gun, uh, basically, just like the MP5, it's just a K version. Uh, we do not have it marked yet. We're actually going to send it off to probably uh, Bainoff Machines to have him remark it with the paddle mag. It doesn't have the paddle mag. Um, and uh, we're going to do the HK Black on it. Um, another thing we're going to do is, and I've got this setting here, this is a four position um, um, Navy lower. Uh, we actually have some pre samples, and one we got these on our pre samples. But this one right here, we're actually going to send off to Bainoff eventually and get him to install the sear in this one so we can have a four position for a single shot uh three shot burst and full auto but today we're going to be using the traditional sef lower which is just a uh safe semi and full auto so um just to give you a general idea of what the sear looks like oh and one other thing i want to go over real quick uh another difference between these guns and the uh traditional mp5s and k's that are that were imported for civic, for uh, law enforcement and military purposes. These have a, what you call a clipped and pinned lower. So you have one pin, a push pin back here that will that attaches to the rear of the gun. And then you got what you call a clipped and pinned piece right here, which doesn't have a push pin. So it's just connected by, um, on the end of, right there by the magwell. So that's what keeps it intact. In so basically, um, just to show you what the sear looks like, we're gonna break it loose. We'll see. Okay, we're gonna break it loose like this right here. First off, we want, of course, we want to take the mag out and uh, make sure the gun is cleared. So the gun is cleared. All right, so we're gonna pull the pins out. It's got two pins, one at the top, one at the bottom. Pull the pins out. That releases the cap. Now we also have got a. Um, a choke, some things kind of choke um, uh, stock for this that we're gonna put on to shoot today at the range. So we'll install that at the end, and uh, and this part right here is just a uh, part to make it easier to shoot. It's just, just a stock, of course. Um, this gun is just a uh, standard pistol, so just keep in mind for some legality purposes. If you end up do getting a setup like this, the gun cannot have this stock installed unless you have the sear in uh, on the gun on the host gun because the sear overrides everything so if you have the sear installed you can you can put the stock on but if the sear is not on the gun if you have a different pack like a semi pack it has to be in the, the pistol configuration because we have not SVR this one this was just your standard pistol so this kind of keeps it from doing that so it's easy to do we keep semi auto um, lowers so we can switch it back and forth to different host guns. So anyway, just to break it loose. Your lower comes off like this. Um, if you want to take out the uh, sear, just check the sear out. You just flip the um, there's the selector switch up like that. It simply comes out. 
and it's gonna be a little tough to get it out, but and the sear pack comes out. Now the serial number is on the on the actual the housing of the trigger housing. It's right there, but the sear is also or excuse me, the serial number is also on this actual sear. Right there is the sear. I'm gonna get you to log in right there on that area. There's where the sear is at. That one little piece is what causes this whole setup to be in the fifty seven thousand dollar range. If you was to just buy this one piece, you're looking at on the market right now. You're looking at about forty five to fifty thousand dollars for one small piece. Uh, the serial number is located right here on the top part of the sear. I don't know if you could see that, but it's right through there. There's a there's a serial number on that. This sear was uh, manufactured in the early 80s by Fleming. Uh, he did some qualified sears and the Fleming sears. This is a Fleming sear. This is the most de desirable sear out there. Um, the Fleming, uh, he was well known for his, his uh, machine gun works and uh, he, he had the best quality work and a lot of people want these sears. They're, they're, they're not super hard to get if you have the money, but they are very desirable. So. Again, that's the part that makes it full auto right there. That's the sear part. That's the part you have to have installed to be able to shoot it on the full auto. Now, if you want to, uh, if you have multiple host guns and you want to put this on a different gun, it depends on the caliber. If it's a nine millimeter MP5, you just throw this trigger housing back into, or excuse me, you just throw the trigger packing back into the housing and you're ready to rock and roll. If you want to shoot it on something with a larger caliber, like a like a 5.56 five, HK 53 or 33, you'll need to take out the ejector lever right here. This ejector needs to be replaced with a different ejector. Um, other than that, that's pretty much it as far as the um, the actually installing it on another host gun. It's, it's pretty easy. It's not very hard at all. Um, again, we're going to send this off. We'll probably do another video later on about with with this new sear installed in this trigger pack. Um, and this and this will be the four the four position maybe lower so we're looking forward to that now they'll have to do some machine work you'll have to cut this rear tab off to install it because this is a actually was on a 53 uh, machine gun um some post samples machine guns that were demilled and they're sodas parts kits and we bought this from a guy in virginia bought two of them actually and we got one on our 53 um pre-sample that we did another video on i think that video if it hasn't been posted yet, it's getting ready to be posted, but it's got the other one on there. So we're going to install that, um, and we'll have Banoff Machine do the work for us, and then we're looking forward to having that done. We'll probably do that next year, probably. So anyway, again, the sear is right here, and that's the part that's the most. That's the part you need right there. That's that right there. Uh, you can install it, take it out. There's little pins, little set pins that come out. Uh, we're not going to do it today because it is a little bit of work, but um, again, that's the part you need. So vertical grip if we uninstall we take the sear off that has to come off too uh if we if we don't then we have to register it as a, any other weapon which is aow it's a five dollar stamp we don't really want to do that so we'll just pull that off whenever we don't have the sear on as of right now we just have one other host gun uh it's an mp5 sd built by uh rdts red dog tactical supplies out of arizona ralph is a well-known builder he's built some several guns for us in the past uh, he just sent us a build back. We're probably going to do a video on it eventually. Um, but uh, we do have a host gun to put the sear on, another host gun other than this one. Um, if when we do that, we'll have to pull the vertical grip off and we'll have to keep the stock off. We'll just have to use the pistol cap. So, um, and that is pretty much it. Uh, the gun, uh, again, like I said, doesn't have the, uh, the only difference between it and the MP5K is it doesn't have the HK black color, which we're gonna do that. It doesn't have a paddle mag release. It's got the push button. Um, and of course, it's, you know, it's a pressure as a pistol. Uh, and it don't have the push pin. Uh, it's got the clipping pin. Uh, so it doesn't have a front push pin. And that's pretty much the only difference between it and the, uh, and the actual full auto MP5K. These SBA knives are super popular if you just went out and bought one. They're quite a bit more expensive than your traditional SP5Ks that you can buy on the market today. These SPA 9s are pretty rare. They're probably going to run you. They were running about seven or eight thousand. They've dropped in value just a little bit because of the SP5Ks coming out. Uh, now they're running approximately around five to six grand. Um, this one is in phenomenal shape. It's not been fired many times, so it's in great shape. Uh, another thing that we'll get Bain off machine to do, we're going to probably do the um, the extended barrel for the thread. We're going to get a new barrel put in. Uh, we're going to go with Urbach uh, barrels, uh, BNT barrels. We almost, oh, we might just get an HK94 barrel and cut it down 
and we're going to do the um, we're going to put a three lug on there and that way we can shoot it suppressed so today we're not going to shoot it suppressed I uh, apologize about that if you want to hear it suppressed we'll we'll actually do another video later on when we get all of it back from Badoff Machine we'll do that video on it and have the um, have the new barrel installed to uh, to have it suppressed so anyway that's pretty much it we'll go to the range and we'll shoot it and see how it sounds